Hello there, welcome back to our channel and we apologize for being away for some times. Let's begin with our presentation. By unwinding the mind and finding balance in our lives, we feel more powerful because we realize that we are responsible for our own lives. In old days, we follow other people's opinion without using our own thoughts. And some people even follow opinions of someone who have no moral values and ethics. Now that we know better, we ordinary people are also awakened. There is no way we can waste our time trying to follow whatever we are told by mainstream media or by someone in top position or by someone with an authority title. We understand the things that are making us happy and bring joy to our lives. We are in charge of our lives and we should be able to make our own research to find out what our lives need or what we need in our lives and what we can contribute to these lives for future generations. We need to allow other people to use their own intelligence, just like we... Uh, we want to be allowed to do that so that they can create their own things that they prefer without interruptions. It takes courage to reject things that cause human, animal, and environmental sufferings. We see more channels spilling the cruelty of such activities. And we see famous individuals are treated as criminals because of their historical actions. We have noticed that people from different environments have a different psychological thinking. We need balance and transparency relationships because healthy relationships are grounded on mutual respect and mutual trust. We need to protect ourselves from uh, that kind of relationship that seek transaction or entitlement in which the taker uses the giver as a source of something they only want and leave. Uh, this means that uh, transaction relationship, it's when I do something for you and you give me something. It can be friendship, it can be in business, it can be in any kind of relationship. It can even be in marriage. Time and energy in our lives are limited. We should spend it on healthy relationships and stop being taken advantage of by others. In life, we have no right to criticize a selfless person willing to help another person by dealing with the origin of the problem or underlying the problem without feeling guilty, conscience promote superiority, or serve a hidden agenda. Generally, we can help others and fight the root of problems together as human beings and stop promoting and supporting the forces that harm others or divide others or spread um, fear or discriminate. We sometimes wonder how someone try to solve a problem in a community far away from them in which they have never lived. Of course, there are many motives, like we mentioned in our books, different words. Many people, especially young people, want to go to other communities to create new experience, feel important and get credit and get interviewing their own countries as heroes who have taken and showed so many innocent uh, pictures on social medias, even of the kids, because they are still growing. They, they, are not, um, they have no self-awareness and uh, they don't know what the future holds of those people they are showing and posting and uh, because of the, I mean, their practices. Most, most of adults have their plans set to maintain their control of superiorities, to get fat, 
to rob ideas, which they will patent and make them theirs, to disable a community skill, to destroy local co economy, to reinforce negative images about people who are from that community, to humiliate people who cannot utilize their own skills or resources to support themselves. In order to relax our mind and find balance in our lives, we need to plan for a long-term future ahead of us, not only a near future to balance our personal and professional lives. Working on our personal growth, we need to cling to our core values and understand why we do the things we do. It is a lifelong learning process that required time and a purpose, a meaningful purpose, to develop oneself. We are living in a society in which we need to be ourselves and do the right things without anyone's approval or control. The time has gone with, in, uh, when we expected to just nod and say yes to almost everything, to be accepted in groups, to belong to groups, to be liked, to be taken in consideration. We need to accept ourselves. We don't need to be afraid of people who hate us, divide us, discriminate us because of our gender, our race, our conditions. It's part of life. That's what makes us strong. And we cannot be who we are not. We cannot imitate or copy people to be something we are not. We can have wigs or have like a, a long hair, straight hair, but we still will be people who we, we were created to be. We need to accept our personal experience and make peace with it because that's what shape our lives. We cannot be something else. We can only improve our lives to be better, but we don't need to be or imitate another person's behavior to become ours because we can only be ourselves. In 2020, some of us have experienced lockdowns for the first time and others for many times. We are now talking lockdowns in the countries which we have experienced it. We have a silence moment to think things through. We had time to be with our loved ones. We organized our minds on our own, alone. We have time to do some hobbies. We had also time to reflect on our past, present, and uh, predict the future we want. We've lost our loved ones, our colleagues, our friends, our neighbors. And that was not a good thing. And for us ordinary people, we couldn't control what is going on around the world right now. This uh, new abnormal event. We need to invest time on things that keep us happy and healthy to be more responsible when we take action and stay true to our, ourselves. We spend more time working for things that cannot buy us happiness, but bring more miseries. It's important to invest our time on things that bring beautiful memories and less stress. If we want to solve the world's biggest problems, we can volunteer locally and fuel immigrants of foreigners who are around us with knowledge and skills so that they can return to their community and make a difference. 
because they are the only one who know the problem which they have. We can create gardens to provide clean food to our people. We can share wealth of knowledge. We can engage in uh, uh, physical activities. We can evolve in campaign against unethical practice or crime against humanity. We, can, we need to avoid environmental toxins and have enough sleep. I hope this gives some ideas of how to be responsible of our lives and unwind the mind by feeling contentment and balance our lives. Thank you for listening. Please share, comment and subscribe.